that Canada has the ability to manufacture for an entrepreneur that doesn't have a tremendous amount of capital but has a great idea well they can come to us with their formulation that maybe they've made with their partners or their friend or their family or someone that's actually developed their formulation for them they can come to us and we're a full service one-stop shop welcome to the my future business show where we get you in front of your best audience and keep you there not only are we interviewing the biggest names in business to help you become even more successful we're inviting you to book your spot on the show to help you grow your business so at the end of the call make sure you fill in the interview application form at my future business.com forward slash interviews Hello and welcome back to the My Future Business Show. It's Rick Nusky. I'm your host and on today's show I am with the wonderful Marcello Leone. Welcome to the show, Marcello. Thank you, Rick. Now, you and I were just talking about a uh, interview, a very concise interview that I uh, was watching on YouTube with uh, the wonderful Jim Gordon. Um, now, the format that we use here is slightly different and it takes us, I guess, a, a bit into the the annals of time and looks at your personal life just a little bit in terms of uh, you know your hobbies and where you're located and I, I guess that would be a great place to start and then we'll pivot into your uh, wonderful organization called Bev Karna Enterprises which we'll take a deep dive into uh, in a little while so where are you located? I'm in uh, Vancouver British Columbia beautiful uh, Canada Fantastic. Now, uh, I know that you at least were a keen runner, and after watching that interview, I found that there were some issues with that, and I'd love to talk about that in a moment. But what are your other hobbies? Do you still like to run and walk? You know, I, I now walk, and uh, I walk a little bit uh, fast walk, and uh, the running as I've, I've gotten a little bit older is uh, is uh, less, <laughs> on the, less on the agenda, right? Um, <laughs> And, and we have a number of rescue dogs, so we really, uh, we really love uh, walking, my wife and I. And so uh, we tend to get out every day yep. and try and get five to six kilometers a day and, and stay healthy, a healthy mind, get out into the nature and just keep it all, uh, keep it all nice and clear. Keep it all real. Now, um, I know that uh, it takes a special type of person to rescue dogs because we rescue dogs ourselves and they can be challenged, uh, challenging because they've come from, I guess, uh, not so great backgrounds. How have you found that experience? You know, I, I, I think in my experience, our experience is you, you wonder how people can, can be so mean to, to dogs or animals in general and yeah. they are such beautiful souls. Uh, for us, it's just been a beautiful experience and uh, you know, at least they can enjoy their journey in life and to be looked after and, and safe. And so, uh, nothing better than uh, curling up in the evening and uh, and having a, a number of dogs join you. And it's amazing how interactive they become too. They need oh, yeah. you. Yeah. They need. It. So, yeah, it's uh, it, it's just something that uh, makes us feel good and hate to see hate to see them suffer. You know, I don't know if you ever see those. Sh shows on television that they ask for donation of abused dogs, etc. So you, know, you, look, you look at that status and you're like, how can anybody do that? So yeah, I know it's a great feeling and uh, and it's just uh, all about health and wellness, whether yeah, it's uh, humanity or whether it's uh, animals. And, and I know uh, that to you are giving them a better life, that's for sure and certain, and the environment in which you live, it's absolutely gorgeous, and I'd love to talk a little bit uh, more about that. Um, so what's, uh, uh, I guess, um, a typical day look, for, look like for you? Do you go walking every day? Um, do you take the dogs with you? How does it look for you? Every day I wake up very early, around 5 o'clock in the morning, and uh, I, uh, I get myself organized and uh, do some reading and uh, uh, check everything out on my emails and get into the work mode and mm -hmm. usually by about uh, 3 30 4 o'clock in the afternoon I you know one one mistake we we I'm sure we've all made when we were younger you know that that philosophy that there's never enough time in a day or a week time goes by so quickly sure does. Uh, I, I make I make it a point every day that that an hour and a half to two hours I have to get out and walk and uh, it just keeps us healthy and it keeps your mind fresh and it makes you more productive and when you're going you know 12 to 14 hours a day, you need to have balance. Yeah, it's completely relevant too because we have, um, you know, startup entrepreneurs and existing small to medium sized business owners on this call who are wondering about that and they often look to people like yourself who have walked the path before them. So thank you for, for sharing that sage insight. Now, um, favorite movie? You got one? 
Yeah, I think I would say probably my favorite movie is Hacksaw Ridge. Fantastic, fantastic. Are you are you are you the cook in the house or? Uh... That I cannot. Uh, I cannot <laughs> say I am. No, but I'm. Uh, you know, I'm a team player. I I I, I do the dishes and I. I, I push my weight all day long so, uh, good team effort that's what keeps my you know my wife and I have been married and together almost 28 years and oh, congratulations awesome thank you. my son is 25 and my daughter is uh, 24 so you know when you're when you're as we're entrepreneurs and you're on the journey for life uh, and you have a family it's always hard work and and you've got to contribute and and that's just the way it is now I wonder, have have your goals as an entrepreneur um, changed since you first started? Um, whenever it was, do you do you look at business the same way nowadays? What's the you end know, goal for you? You know the end goal. You know that's a great question. If you would have asked me 15 years ago, what you know today I'm I'm 54 years old this June. So if you would ask me in my early 40s, I think as an you know as an entrepreneur, and when we start young, you have um, your eyes are big. And, yep. and you want to achieve everything. And I think as you get older, you want to have a positive experience in life. You want to have peace and harmony. You want to be that entrepreneur to actually achieve and, and succeed. And, and it's never for sure. And there are always obstacles. And, and there's certain times in the journey where you think and you will fail and you have failed. And that will make you an even stronger entrepreneur because whatever we choose to do it's so easy to give up in life and it's so easy to, to, to listen to others you really have to be laser focused and and focus on the journey where to, I am today where I'm blessed to uh, we're blessed and so mm-hmm. we're blessed you know we have uh, meals every day and we have healthy healthy people around us we have a, a, a home uh, and I think uh, we have a business that can leave a legacy behind no matter uh, how that would look in the future. Um, and I think you just got to enjoy the process and s- sometimes just take take a deep breath, mm-hmm. smell the roses, because <laughs> life, life is short. And oh, as you yeah. Older, as, you, you know, as you get older, I don't know about you, but, you know, we get older and all those ambitions when you're young and, and never a moment to breathe and never time to exercise and never time to do this. We've got to work. we got to do this. we got to do that. we got to do that. that. That affects and creates something called stress that can affect a tremendous amount within your body. In your body that on the exterior you may look and say, wow, I look healthy. And then when you get to our age and you start checking yourself out, stress has a tremendous impact. So I'm, uh, I'm a big advocate for all entrepreneurs and anybody who's who's on this journey and wants to be that entrepreneur because you know you you look at the 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 pinnacle individuals the buffets of the world the bill gates and and the teslas uh, elon musk and everybody wants to to go yeah uh, i think uh, no it's it's beautiful to have that ambition understand that failure is normal and it makes you a better person and then understand that health is one of the most important ingredients for you to continue to be a great great entrepreneur so we have to be careful with that. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you again for sharing. I, I really love how you, you, you've you grounded your, your life's journey um, because it's information that some people don't even consider until it's too late and they have a, a health episode that they have to deal with because of that uh, uh, wonderful friend of ours called stress. So again, thank you. Now, if we can go back, Marcello, to your childhood days, um, where did you grow up and what is one fond memory that you have of your childhood? I'm well, sure there's plenty. Yeah, you know, I think uh, I, I I was born in Montreal, Quebec. Um, uh, my parents are originally from uh, Italy, immigrated to Quebec, Montreal, Canada, and uh, ended up in Vancouver when I was about six years old, seven years old. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, and we, my family, we started from my parents had nothing, and mm-hmm. uh, we. We were blessed with the roof over our head, and I guess the, the the fondest memories for me was I'll never forget when we all went to you know this is many years ago. I it's not like it is today. I'll never forget <laughs> going as a family to meet the bank manager for my dad to get his first loan for his first hair salon because he was a, a hairdresser, and uh, and they wanted to meet the whole family. And my mom bought me a suit and uh, <laughs> my little dress and. 
and we got our first loan and we he opened his first business and, I, and my sister and I would work there in the summertime so that it was a beautiful experience I mean yeah. you, you forget where you come from at times like with that that kind of experience to what the next 45 years could bring you uh, but wow what a special time it was yeah, thank you. I really appreciate learning a little bit more about you, Marcello. I um, I think about these things, and I think um, you've just touched on basically your first entrepreneurial experience. Um, at that time, presumably, it was your your father and his ability to get on the front foot and get the the business going that had an impression on you. Uh, fast forward to today, who impresses you now and motivates you? Do you think? Well, that's or a great that question. You? you know, I, I guess. Um, I guess uh, you you have to develop certain uh, a certain DNA as yep. you get older, um, and and you get touched by you know the movie you asked me about uh, uh, your your family background, uh, people that you've worked with that that have been uh, have had an influence through your experience. Um, you know, I, I would probably say that my wife has been really. You know, just an amazing, amazing uh, partner. And I think that when you're an entrepreneur and you take risks, and when you take risks, you 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 might risk your house. Mm-hmm. And when you risk your house, uh, there's a, a, a maybe a partner involved and children involved. And that's what entrepreneurs do. Some make it, some don't make it. But to have someone who's supportive through the journey, and there are long days and many dark years before you get to the next level, if you can, and a lot, a lot of barriers along the way. So, you know, I have to tip my hat off to my wife. She's just been such a powerful, um, just a pillar of strength to help me through through where we've gone through. So, yeah, I would probably say her 100%. And our kids have been very supportive. So, you know, I remember... I remember when we started the journey, we sat them down and we said, hey, you know what? We just want you to know something. Here we are. We're entrepreneurs. We're risking everything. And so don't expect anything if it doesn't work out. And at least you're going to learn what it's going to take for hopefully you one day to uh, go on your journey. And yeah. you're going to stick with mom and dad. So yeah, that, thank that's you. been kind of awesome. I, I love it because, you know, you're talking about um, somebody who is your life partner uh, being there the, and, you know, taking that risk because we don't have long on this planet, uh, let's be honest. Um, so we might as well make a good go of it. And But also you're mentoring your children apart from being a father. So that's wonderful. Um, thank you for sharing. Now, I, yeah. I want to talk about uh, Bev Karna in a moment because you've got some wonderful products in there in front of you right now. But before we do that, when uh, what, what's your pe- professional background prior to Bev Karna? Or has it always been Bev Karna? No, I um, uh, I uh, graduated from university, uh, did my degree very quickly, um, mm-hmm. four year program in two and a half years. So I went, you know, when we go to university and you get the spring, you, you end in the spring and you get the summer off. Yep. I did summer courses. I graduated quickly from a university and I went to work in the family business with my mother and father, where I. Uh, was challenged through that experience, helped my mom and dad build uh, their business. Mm-hmm. Uh, the first three years that we were together, we were close to losing the business. Uh, it was tough go. Uh, and we were in the, uh, we were in the, uh, my father was a hairdresser. My mother opened up in front of the hair salon, an apparel uh, store in the front. So we became uh, an apparel fashion house in Vancouver, British Columbia. And I worked with my family till I was about uh, uh, 42. Um, my mother and father retired uh, about seven years ago. They sold their business, a very successful, profitable business. Um, and then I started my journey uh, as an entrepreneur on my own without family um, when I was uh, 43 years old. And now I'm in 54, and and it was uh, and it was a scary. Uh, it was a scary process, and yeah. uh, but what a journey it's been, and uh, I have no regrets. Wow, what I know today, what we learned from this <laughs> share, I wouldn't do. You know, I wouldn't. I would have made some mistakes, but I, I needed to make the mistakes to learn uh, the lesson, to, the, the lesson, and and how to be better at what 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 the journey is about and what's important and that whole experience. And so, 
yeah, here we are, in, uh, and uh, that's what we've been able to do over the last uh, several years. But I, I was a late bloomer. Uh, yeah, wonderful. Really- now, and you know, it, it's a credit to you because I know that uh, Bevcan Enterprises is taking off in the massively emerging market and it's rapid paced and I'm very excited about it and I'd love to now talk about that because um, um, there'll be people on the call wondering what's Bevcan Enterprises and I think maybe that's uh, a really good place for, for you to start. Would you mind sharing a little no. bit of the background? No, let me let me do that. Now, so the background, we'll talk about uh, Bevcana, which uh, is a licensed producer, and I'll get into details about that for yep. cannabis beverages and natural products, nutraceuticals. But we started off uh, 10 years, 11 years, 12 years ago, my wife and I, we looked at uh, health and wellness and where was the future of the, the world going. And we had an opportunity that I used to get uh, my runner's knee uh, quite a bit, uh, and I used to get a pain, but and I used to get walking pneumonia a couple of times a year. So that was the experience of being the family business entrepreneur, pushing, pushing, pushing seven days a week. And I was introduced to a plant-based mineral, a plant-based mineral like I have in this supplement bottle called uh, Trace Fulvic and Humic. And uh, I was told what the benefits of this product was. And I, when I heard it, my wife told me, I said, wow, that sounds pretty awesome, but also crazy. I've never heard about this before. And if it could actually work, that would be wonderful. And so I started to take the uh, the supplement, and and basically, long and short of it, uh, over the last nine years, uh, I haven't had a cold. I don't take any uh, flu shots, and my runner's knee comes on once every couple of months when yeah. I'm doing light exercise or I, I walk a lot. Um, so, so from that experience and falling in love for what this product could do, uh, I then said, I said, is this company as an entrepreneur? what is this company? How can I get involved in this company? This sounds like, wow, some great innovation. Ended up becoming a shareholder in the company. It was mm-hmm. owned uh, originally by uh, uh, two people out of Vancouver. And they developed the, 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 their version of first generation uh, concentrate. Yeah. And I went out and I wanted to say, okay, well, in order to make this taste really great, to get a ready to drink product like you see right here, that's in over 3,000 points of sale across Canada and getting ready for expansion internationally, south of the border and internationally in Southeast Asia. Exciting. And and you have it here. What's beautiful about it is that this still has to taste. It has mineral benefits, but it has to taste like the finest, beautiful spring water you've ever tasted. And so long and short, I ended up acquiring uh, in the Soyuz, British Columbia in Bridesville, uh, we ended up acquiring 313 acres. It had a beautiful water source that I fell in Ooh. love with because I thought if we're going to do beverages, and I knew nothing about beverages, right? Yep. Nothing. <laughs> but I understood that, hey, if we're going to get into the barrier, I want to make sure that we have a water source, that we're not dependent on somebody else. Uh, and then we ended up, there was a small little bottling facility on the water source, the, fa- the original gentleman who started it. Uh, had a small and was licensed to have a a bottling facility of about 4,000 square feet and he had the natural water untouched by man, alkaline water. Marriage made in heaven. Natural 7.7 alkalinity that would come directly into the bottling facility and infuse all the beverages and bottle the beverages and never touched by man. So I love that. Incredible. Hiring the company and over time, and it's a process as an entrepreneur because if you if you have all the money in the world, it's one thing. If you're an entrepreneur, we, we build it in blocks and build a foundation and sometimes we get there and other times it takes longer time to get there. And we ended up uh, building a Naturo Group, which has a complete vertical. We own a high uh, state-of-the-art bottling facility that can produce over 200 million bottles per annum. Uh, and we have... Uh, a 42,000 square foot facility today that allows us to uh, produce our own beverages, uh, which you see in front of here right now, our brand called Trace, and it allows us to do also uh, white label uh, opportunities for other vendors in the CPG space. And then uh, after, and it took to get anything that you put into your body, Rick, anything you drink, any food, you require the highest level of compliance in Canada called CFIA, which is equivalent to uh, uh, US FDA. Yep. And in order to get the fulvic and humic plant-based minerals approved as a ready-to-drink 
beverage. It took me almost five and a half to six years to get compliance oh in Canada because the innovation was so leading that they didn't know much about it and they wanted to make sure that it, it was ingested, that it was safe for everybody. And yep. we went through all the tests and passed all that and got finally got our CFIA compliance and, and here you go where we are today where about three years ago because we're specialists in infusion and when you infuse the supplement when you put it into your coffee or into your beverage any beverage you drink if you can control the dosage by putting one or two tablespoons if you want to have more efficacy or you want to put more some people that use supplement would like to put two or three and they taste the minerals much more they think when they taste the minerals maybe it works more for them yep. so there's that person and then there's the ready to drink that buys it in the 7-Elevens, the Sobeys across the, across the country, and they want the benefits of the product, but the taste has to be like the finest spring water you've ever seen. Of course. So there, was a, there was a beauty of it, and being able to infuse these minerals, plant-based minerals, into the ready to drink was a stepping stone when we were approached and asked if we were interested to go into uh, infused uh, legalization of uh, cannabis and at first we were like wow uh, this cannabis is this is different What's yeah. this? How, we, how do you do that and I looked over we were at the boardroom table I kind of looked over at my son and another young executive and I said excuse me but do you guys you know I come from plant based minerals fulvic and humic etc do you guys know about your and they're like yeah it's the future yes <laughs> we, we gotta do that and so um and so three years ago, two and a half, three years ago, we started the journey and uh, Naturo Group has its its uh, allocated space. So we're the only uh, bottling facility, full vertical, high capacity, that has uh, square footage allocated exclusively for CPG products like you see in front of me. Mm -hmm. And there has an extra 10,000 square foot dedicated, licensed by Health Canada that took almost two and a half years to get the license, so barrier to entry into the space is very difficult because the infrastructure foundational cost is so expensive, Rick, oh, yeah. that it took us 10 years to get there. Today, they, you're going to be in the space. You have to make that capital investment right out of the get-go. And so we have 10,000 square feet that's a licensed producer mm -hmm. that allows us to do CBD-infused beverages, allows us to do um, cannabis-infused beverages, THC, hemp extracts, it allows us as brand people that have built our own brand and are in retail, we, uh, we do our own brand uh, called Anarchist Mountain. We have the ability to offer our own brands, but we also wanted to make sure coming and being an entrepreneur, I knew that this was going to be a space that no different than the end of prohibition for alcohol. Of course. Where, where is this industry going to be? We're the first federally legal country in the world, us in Canada. Can yep. you imagine when the rest of the world is open and can you imagine when CBD is deemed an NPN number and is considered in every uh, by the health associations in North America and probably all over the world that you can have a CBD with a certain amount of milligrams involved that is not excessive that you can buy at your grocery store at Costco yeah. that's what's coming so where we've seen the evolution and the end of prohibition and alcohol over the last decades we're going to see this and being first to market it's pretty exciting but that is uh, our capabilities in what we've been able to do with uh, Bevcana. So Bevcana has the ability to manufacture uh, for an entrepreneur that doesn't have a tremendous amount of capital but has a great idea well they can come to us with their formulation that maybe they've made with their partners or their friend or their family or someone that's actually developed their formulation for them they can come to us and we're a full service one-stop shop. We don't uh, put pressure that you have to do millions of bottles a year. Mm -hmm. We got very low commitment for the entrepreneur that comes and we can do low capacity and we can do very high capacity. And what it allows us is we can do two ounce form factors up to four liter form factors. Uh, we, we can do PET, fully sustainable and recyclable plastic, and we can do cans, and we can do glass. And so we are very unique that we can do all types of form factors. So if you're an entrepreneur that's coming and you're a craft uh, and you're a little bit smaller, mm -hmm. um, we can offer that full service for you to uh, get you with the correct branding and get you in the right uh, bottle and then get you out to retail as well. And so 
there's the ability of being able to be a full service uh, branded and white label. So uh, that's that's on the beverage side. And yep. then we also have the nutraceutical side and natural products of our business so that where we can do supplements, concentrates into your beverages, you'll be seeing in our uh, on our website, people will be seeing in the next couple of months, you'll see vitamins uh, that'll be hitting hitting the shelves as well with the fulvic and humic, so a different form factor as well that, of consumption. You'll see powders that'll go into beverages as well. Mm-hmm. So we're able to participate and do uh, beverages and natural nutraceuticals as well. And will, uh, will you be going into the edible space, do you think, later on? You know, could could we at some point? No, I never say never, Rick. Yeah, of but, course. The, the ever since we received our our uh, our standard processing license, and then once you receive your standard processing license, you have to have a sales license in order to sell the product. Uh, yes. So not only do you have to go through two, two and a half, three years of compliance, building the facility per Health Canada, getting all of the audits done, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. Now, once you got your standard processing license, now you got to get your sales license, and that takes nine months. And so we were lucky and uh, strategic, our group, that we partnered with, uh, with a partner out of Alberta that has a sales license so that we announced that we had a joint venture partnership with uh, our license for sales license. So we're able to go to market within the next two months. Okay. Uh, we're getting, and what's been exciting about that is the phone has not stopped. White label <laughs> clients are calling, major LPs are calling, craft entrepreneurs are calling, and everybody wants just a one-stop shop because I remember what it was like when I started, and I was like, I know nothing about the beverage business. This is crazy, but I believe I believe so much in what this, the efficacy of this product did, Rick. It blew my mind. And here's what Health Canada allows us to say about the product. So I'll just let you know, so you know the benefit. Of course, helps prevent, helps prevent cognitive degeneration. Acts as a very strong gut clean. Acts as a very strong immune booster and helps reduce osteoporosis. Pretty powerful product. I fell in love. And from there, as an entrepreneur, I took the build it and they will come. And um, (laughs) now now we pray blessings that that they continue to come. You know, you talk about, uh, you know, you hear people talking about, quote, unquote, the overnight success. Your overnight success has taken more than 10 years in the making, and it it is a credit to you. And I can only see bright things for the future. Just like Prohibition, we've gone through, uh, I guess, a revolution of sorts, and we are evolving as a society. We can see some positive things coming out of this. We've seen um, health and medicinal benefits of the of the from the basis of the products that you've just um, mentioned. And I am very excited for Bev Karner's future. Now, I think, um, you know, that would be an understatement for you. I bet you wake up every morning super pumped up. You know what? I'm pumped. And, and you know, we, 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 we got into the discussion about beverages and how we started. And then, you know, as you're waiting for this compliance, right, you're also you're also looking, uh, and I don't know if you can hear my rescue oh, dogs. don't worry about them. My, my apologies, but at least, <laughs> that at least life is happening like, around us all the time. At least everybody knows that uh, that they're they're here. And uh, <laughs> uh, but but uh, what's what's also uh, very very exciting with Beth Canada is we we saw how long it was taking with Health Canada. We knew the process, and we wanted to kind of get to revenue uh, on on the uh, Beth Canada side, the cannabis side of the business, the CBD side of the business, a little bit earlier as we were waiting. So we, we, we also looked at south of the border. The United States is going to become a very important market for us as well. North America mm-hmm. is going to be huge. So what we did was another pillar. So as an entrepreneur, not building a foundation of a business on a chair with one stool, yep. one leg, sorry. Yep. Yep. You build this stool with three or four, so you know it's solid. We went out and we uh, acquired a uh, online e-commerce company uh, called Pure Therapy, and that came with uh, uh, years of history, uh, 23,000 customers. The run rate this year is approximately 7 million Canadian, but more importantly, it gives us a platform to sell CBD-infused products online throughout the United States where we could ship and uh, natural nutraceutical products as well. So it gives us a good feel for the whole health and wellness category. Oh yeah, and it allows us to use the e-commerce platform to, to begin selling our trace products. As I mentioned, you're going to see supplement, 
you're going to see vitamins, you're going to see uh, powders, and so it gives us a nice foothold in the United States. And then, as we were waiting for compliance, which every LP has a long yep. time, yeah. uh, we, we looked at who's the number one beverage company in the United States. And it's a brand out of Colorado that's been live for about 10 years. Its name is Keef, K-E-E-F. And it was quite, uh, we reached out to Keefe and we ultimately, uh, since federally legal, this is a brand that Canadians would probably love to try, the most important brand in the United States. Uh, eight of the top 10 uh, beverages in Colorado, where Keefe is from, is is owned by Keefe. Oh. In, in California, two of the top 10 brands are, are, are represented and owned by Keefe. So, and by units sold on an annual basis, they are the number one beverage brand in the United States. So we did a exclusive partnership agreement with Keefe. So we manufacture all of their products for Canada and we distribute all of their products for Canada as well. So we are getting and excited to uh, get to the authorized distributors across Canada to launch their products within the next uh, 45 days to 60 days. And they have over 1,000 points of retail distribution dispensaries in the United States, and they also have a very strong manufacturing capability in the U.S., which allows us a strong partnership uh, to get ready to launch our own products in the U.S. So it's a beautiful bilateral agreement, yep. uh, beautiful partnership, beautiful brands, and the product And p for people that haven't tasted product with CBD or THC, you want to make sure the product tastes good. Of and course, you, of the course. Last thing you want to do is, is have that awful taste in your mouth. And there's a lot. Of, <laughs> there's a lot of beverages out there that do. Uh, yeah, look, that I, I've I've actually um, uh, tried some other products, and I'm looking forward to getting my hands on on your products. And uh, I think love, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love uh, one of our, our, our <laughs> that, that, that I I grew up loving to drink this drink, and that it was a mandate for our team to make sure that. Uh, we could have a CBD infused beverage and taste it excellent like this drink because everyone's going to love it. Yeah. But I, I, I just wanted to share, those are the four strong pillars that we have. So it gives us the ability to be uh, very fluid, very, very focused, uh, and uh, and who knows what the future looks like. Who look, uh, look um, you know, this is incredible. I'm, I'm barely able to uh, sustain myself and, and sit down without uh, trying to find out more information about you and uh, Bevcarn, uh, Bevcarn Enterprises. I'm wondering, uh, Marcello, where can people find out more information, either just um, from a top level and then as an investor? Sure, you know, bevcarn.com, we are a public company. Um, our, our, uh, our ticker symbol in Canada, the CSC is BEB. Pretty simple. Uh, yeah, we're in the OTCQB as well in the United States under BVNMF. Um, so, you know, you can find a lot of information if you go to our website. And then there's a link if you have any questions. Uh, our team responds very quickly. Uh, we've got a great deck online. Uh, we're very interactive with our shareholders. Um, and we do have uh, excellent shareholders. And I and I think the, the future's bright. I think uh, we... You know, when people ask me, where, where are we in this whole process? That people ask me, where, where are we in this process? Yep. And, and, I, and I say to them, I say to them, let's, let's look at it like a baseball uh, diamond. We haven't even hit first base, right? Yeah, we're at the start of this uh, wonderful journey. It's going to be incredible. I just have to say, um, for everybody who's on this call to today, um, I will be making sure that you get the links back to Bev Karna. It's B-E-V-C-A-N-N-A.com. There is a link to media. There's a whole bunch of information that's relevant and timely for you and there's also uh, an investor portal that you can look at further information and Marcello I just have to say I'm very excited for um, Bev Karna Enterprises for your future personally and thank you so very much for joining me on the My Future Business Show today. Blessings to you thank you so much for taking the time to speak to us and uh, we're always here for you thank you so much. Thanks for joining us today if you enjoyed the call, 
then make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, share us with your friends, and book your spot on the show at myfuturebusiness.com forward slash interviews. And if you're looking for solutions that will help grow your business, then visit myfuturebusiness.com forward slash shop.